Now that's how we do You know that you're feeling it too Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, we talked a little bit in the past about sharing some additional customizations or upgrades that we had at least planned or things that we've already bought. So well, we figured that might be a good day to do that <laughs> with everything going on. So um, I'll get things started off a little bit here. I've talked a little bit in the past about our fuel caps and uh, I work with aircraft specialties on laser engraving a set of lockable and air fuel caps so you can see those i mean these are super high quality here as i mentioned before they don't necessarily fit in the current van's flanges but uh and air has been really really great they have said that they're going to machine a new outer flange for the cap itself for us but with everything going on in the world right now uh there's been some delays with doing that so Long story short, we are hopeful that we get some new flanges for our fuel caps. If not, I might go crazy and just turn a set of them ourselves, or we may just stick with the Vans, uh, the Vans caps as well. So we got options available there. Um, second customization, now this is not needed now on the wings, but uh, this will help us going forward because we elected to go with the control approach rudder system. Very, very nice system, you know, overhead, pedals uh, looks I mean it's it's legit not that there's anything wrong with the van system but this is a super high-end rudder pedal and brake system uh, we'll go with the Behringer wheel and brake kit that we're going to install as well so so the a problem that then you have to solve as I mentioned before anytime you do customizations that can lead to other work uh, steps is that the rudder cables that are connected with the pedals are now relocated inside of the tunnel and there could be some challenges with trying to route everything that's inside of the tunnel. One of the things being the scat tube for the heat that goes to the back seats. There's a builder down in Australia, and I apologize for not knowing the exact uh, builder's name. We can put it in the description. That's a great, great with point. the video. Great yeah. idea, great idea. But he's got a you know published out on his website uh, some 3D print files that are brackets that will hold the, these are for, uh, forward and an aft bracket that will hold that scat tube right in the middle of the tubing and make it make sure that there's no interference with the, the rudder cables. Now these are, these are just mock-ups that uh, actually a coworker's son made on his 3D printer. They're mock-ups because the material they made uh, that he mocked these in is the standard PLA material. And that's not, that's not heat sensitive enough. So he's actually going to make these in nylon. So they will stand up to the heat that we need uh, to make sure that they don't get soft or anything like that uh, in the long term. So he's working on that. There's some special steps he's got to do for that. But you know, these are some freely available files. And if you're going with the control approach rudder pedal system, could be a good option for you to look these up and have a set of these 3D printed for yourself. Okay, next thing. Now, I know this is kind of this is kind of boxed up a little bit or wrapped up a little bit. This is the Plane Around, uh, Plane Around is the name of the company, uh, 180 degree center door latch system. Now, uh, there have been some instances in the past where RV doors, the pins that actually go into the canopy and the fuselage don't necessarily get aligned and that can result in a door leaving the aircraft when you don't really want it to, that could ruin your day. This third latch system really should, be fall, should fall into the category of a mandatory safety item because it's a cam lock system that, that is in the center of the door itself pulls the door in flush with mm -hmm. the threshold, and then that way the pins cannot be misaligned when they go in to lock the door in place. So we got that. Uh, there's uh, you know some uh, adjustable, well, actual, this is the linkage, and there's some door blocks and all that fun stuff in So here. when we get to that part, we'll show. Oh, there'll be a yeah. detail. We'll do a real super detailed install uh, on, on that piece. Next up, we've got, uh, I don't know, this is a box from TCW. Uh, this is a control valve servo kit. Let me show you here. It's got a little push rod actuator. It's just a little 
Actuonics. You could buy these cheap online, but I like it because it has a, uh, it's got a little control rheostat. If I can get this open here, and I might not be able to. Uh, but this is the controller for the servo. It's all nicely heat shrunk together. It's got a couple of um, trimmer pots. It's a technical electrical term. Okay. So you can adjust the movement of the servo itself. And this will panel mount. So basically what, what we'll use this for, um, we will mount this servo up to this. This is a four inch butterfly valve that will get mounted in line with our oil cooler. So in the hot, blazing, Midwestern summer months, this will be wide open to ensure we have straight through cooling for our oil, uh, help manage our oil temps. But then in the winter months, when it's a whole lot colder here, uh, you're able to adjust that servo and the servo will restrict the airflow to the oil cooler. And basically what that does is it allows the oil temp to get up to the correct operating temperature. So there's been a lot of studies, a lot of research on this. that You need the oil and the engine to get up to the correct operating temperature to make sure if there's any moisture in there, it gets boiled off because the moisture then leads to corrosion. So uh, this is a great tool that will help make sure that the engine operates uh, for, well, one, in a happy state. But then, too, that leads to it uh, lasting uh, as long as it can going forward. So that's a customization. Both of those are from TCW Technologies. And we're not endorsed by any of these companies. I don't, I don't know. Oh, Whatever. yeah, we should have mentioned that. No, we, we paid for all this stuff. So, uh, yeah. We, and if we like it, we'll tell you. If we don't, we'll tell we'll you. We'll tell you. That's exactly right. It's a great point. Uh, this, let's see what this is. Oh, yeah, this is a fun little upgrade. This is from PH Aviation Services. So now this is definitely in the nice to have category. This is an upgraded flap actuator. So the ones that Vans send you, there's a service bulletin out that you gotta do some safety wiring to make sure that the threaded, uh, the rod end doesn't come out on it. Um, and it's, it is fine. They have been known to fail in the past. Um, a lot of times there, there, I think there's even service bolts in on making sure that the grease is cleaned out of the motor armature. Uh, but like anything, there is an option to upgrade this and that's what we did. So this is from again, PH aviation services, flap actuator. It has built in sensor wires too, for, uh, the actual flap positioning. So you don't have to add on a separate, you know, sort of indicator solution or anything like that. So super excited about that upgrade. And then let's, let's see what else we got. I think this is probably the last That's how thing. you know when you order a lot of stuff. Yeah, and you're like, know what, we got. what did we get? Um, it's like buying from oh, Amazon. This one isn't, this isn't too exciting, but for those of you that are working on your wings right now, um, you probably will care about this, especially if you're going with a a pitot tube that has a angle of attack indicator on it, or if you're just going to separate angle of attack ports. This is a pitot static AOA kit from Steinair. Uh, so these are the actual lines that get ran into, you know, out through the wings, out to where the pitot uh, tube is mounted, as well as the static line that gets mounted back in the tail cone. Uh, so critical piece, and you definitely want to make sure that you got that likely for ease of running before you put the bottom wing skins on. You wanna make sure those lines are ran uh, just to make your life a little bit easier. So some quick updates for today. We have more stuff in the works. Uh, there's been some delay in, again, manufacturing because of uh, the you know, just the state of the world it's in right now. But uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed that everybody stays happy and healthy and we get some additional upgrades delivered in relatively short order. So thanks so much.